Hi everyone. So today I thought we could make an in an elephant inspired by India. So sort of an Indian elephant. So we're going to need a pencil. We're going to need some markers. We're going to need some watercolor. Basically, I'm only going to use the gray, so some watercolor and then a Sharpie or if you have an ink, some ink, we're going to use some ink to outline our drawing later. All right, you could use a Sharpie if you don't have ink. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a fresh piece of paper and I'm going to use a pencil and we're going to start to draw our Indian elephant. So Indian elephants actually have smaller ears than African elephants. That's interesting. So I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to start with a nice circle like that. There we go. And now I want to add an ear. So remember I said that Indian elephants have smaller ears than African elephants. So I'm just going to give them like an ear. It's going to look a little bit, maybe like a leaf. So there's my ear. It's kind of like a teardrop. And I don't want that line there. So I'm going to erase that. Goodbye line. I do not want you there. Good. Now I'm going to go for his feet. He's got some very big stompy feet. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to do a little curved line down. I'm going to do a curved line down. I need to go all the way down, going all the way down to my paper. So this is sort of a, an inspired elephant. So it's not gonna be super realistic. So if your lines look different than mine, that's fine. Now I'm gonna do a horizontal line for his foot. I'm gonna go for a vertical up. Oh, he has a nice fat leg there. I like that fat leg. Now I'm gonna do his belly. Good. And I'm gonna go down for his other foot. That's a vertical line down. I'm going to go horizontal again, close off that foot, go vertical, and then around for his bottom there. Then I'm going to do a straight horizontal line for his back. So there I have the basic structure of my elephant, but he only has two legs. And how many legs do elephants have? Four. So I'm going to give him two more legs. I'm going to give him this one leg back here that's just peeking out so it's kind of like he's walking then i'm going to give him another leg over here that's peeking out so it's like it's walking like that all right and he has some toes some big toes so i'm going to do these whoop 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 sort of upside down use whoop whoop there and over here Upside down use and over here. Nice. My elephant is missing something very important. He's missing his trunk. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to do a big swoop for his trunk. That's one side of the trunk. Make an oval here and then do the other side of the trunk. Good. I don't want that line anymore. I'm going to erase it. Eye line. Very good. I need to do his tusk. So you know that the tusks for the elephants, that's like his front teeth. And if he ever loses his tusk, it doesn't grow back. So that's why we have to protect those elephants from getting their tusks taken away from them. So there's my tusk. And now he needs a what? He needs an eye. I'm gonna give him a almond eye, why not? And maybe a circle inside the almond. And I'm gonna color that in, like a very expressive eye. Why not? You can give him whatever kind of eye you wanna give him. And I actually wanna give him a crown because in India, in the Hindu religion, Hinduism, Elephants are actually sacred. So you might remember that we told you that cows were sacred in Hinduism. Also, elephants are sacred. So I'm going to keep working away here. I'm going to draw like a cool crown. I'm going to erase that line to make his head a little bit bigger. I'm going to give him like a 
around like this, yeah. There we go, something cool. Loop, 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 loop. Yeah, so you can make all sorts of little designs that you want for your elephant. So in the Hinduism religion, the um, sacred elephant is called Ganesh. It is an elephant-headed deity who rides atop a tiny mouse called Ganesh. The elephant, the, the deity. Now I'm going to give him this, um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give him like sort of like a, a blanket on top of his back, kind of like a clothing. So I'm going to do this rectangle shape on his back. And I'm gonna do some scallops around it. So it's this U, upside down U, this hopping, hopping uh, shape here, curved line that's hopping around like this. Good. Such a lovely elephant, very expressive. Thank you. And I'm gonna give him more definition here inside of his blanket. Cool. And give him some swirly swirlies. So if you want, you could press pause on the video and you can really go to town. You can add lots of decorations, however you want. You might want to press pause and just work away. So I have my basic elephant drawn and now I'm going to add some colors. I'm going to start by using some markers. And I'm going to color in this part. All right, all, all the parts that I want to be sort of fancy, I'm gonna color those parts with color. I colored over that swirl that I had made, but later I'm gonna go with my ink or my Sharpie and I'm gonna color that design in with an outline. So I'm gonna give my elephant a very fancy blanket on his back. So you can press pause if you need to press pause. And you can add more colors. Oh, I thought I was using green, but this marker was gray. Somebody booby trapped me. All right, cool. So I'm adding lots of scallops, lots of color, getting my beautiful elephant full of color here. I'm not gonna color his body yet. I'm gonna do that with watercolor. Right now I'm just adding decoration. You can go as detailed as you'd like. So um, we know that elephants are an endangered species and we know that they're being protected all over the world. So elephants live in India also, and they live in other countries, but also in India. And one fact I thought was interesting that wild elephants, they actually sleep standing up most of the time. Um, and when they're in captivity, they sleep laying down more, but when the, they're in the wild, they have a tendency to sleep standing up. I'm gonna give this crown like a nice yellow color. Cool. All right, great. You can work more by adding more color, but I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my elephant gray. So I'm gonna use a watercolor and I am going to get some gray and I'm gonna paint my elephant Ray. You know, I think I was thinking of adding a little bit of blue to my elephant too, because in India, in Hinduism, blue is a very special color to them. So I thought I might want to add some blue. Now look what's happening to my marker because I used a washable marker. So I'm using watercolor and the marker is kind of bleeding through. I like that. I think it looks really cool. So that's kind of come out like this. Good. I'm gonna add some gray. All right, I've got my back leg here is darker than my front leg. That's good, it makes it look like it's like further away. Nice. And then after this, I'll let the watercolor dry a little bit and then I can outline my elephant with my India ink. I'm using the gray here. I'm gonna color over the all of the elephant's face and his tusk. So baby elephants are actually about three feet tall. 
which uh, depending on how old you are, three feet tall is like basically, maybe a five-year-old is around three feet tall. So that's how big a baby elephant is. That's pretty, pretty big, pretty big animal, huh? All right, cool. Now you might've seen pictures or maybe if you saw like the movie Aladdin, you saw people riding an elephant and that has definitely happened in India. Um, but it's really not recommended to ride an elephant because we want elephants to be, we want them to be wild, free, like that. Okay, great. I painted in my elephant. I'm gonna add a little color to that beautiful marker job I did. See, why not? Now it looks like a nice watercolor. That's cool. All right, good. Add some color to it. Feel free to press pause if you want to get some more color on your elephant. Do your best work. Add a little bit more gray here. Good. Great. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie or ink, whatever you have. And I'm going to outline my elephant. So I have this ink that's actually called India ink. And I'm going to outline my elephant. Now let's see, if my drawing is a little bit wet, if I put the ink there, it's going to smudge. It's going to run around. So I'm going to see how wet it is. All right, so I'm gonna go and do some outlines. So when you're working with ink and when you're working with a paintbrush with ink, if you press down really hard, you're gonna get a big, thick line. If you, press, if you don't press down, then you'll get a thinner line. Now look, I had some water there and the ink is gonna, look at that. But I like that, I think it looks really cool. If you don't like that, and you're just gonna wanna wait for your drawing to fully dry. And when it's fully dry, then you'll go in and add your ink. I think this looks nice and expressive. Cool. This elephant is stomp, stomp, stomping on the ground. I'm gonna use my ink actually and make a line for the ground. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like he's walking on the ground. Oh my gosh, I lost my brush. That was crazy. All right, there we go. Outlining my elephant. Nice and expressive elephant. Let's go for the ears. I'm gonna do one ear in the back. So it looks like he has an ear in the back. Beautiful. Under here. And now I thought there's so many things you could do with this drawing when you finished it. You could just hang it up, right? You could just hang it up on the wall just as it is. Or you could cut it out. You could cut out the elephant and glue it onto another piece of paper. Or you could cut it out and glue it on a piece of cardboard. And you could add like maybe some paper clips to the back so it could stand up like an elephant puppet. You could turn it into a mobile. Remember, Alexander Calder was the one who invented the mobile. So you could turn it into something that hangs and into a mobile. You could really do whatever you want with this lovely drawing. I'm going to give him some eyelashes. Let's find that. Right. The dots around his eyes. Cool. So feel free to be as expressive as you like now. I'm going to add some more details to the blanket. Outlining here. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go in and do my swirls. Remember I had drawn those swirls? I can't see them anymore. I'm gonna draw those again. Good. Do this other line here. Great. Good. So I'm finishing off with my elephant. I hope you had fun making an Indian inspired elephant. 
Oh, guess what? My, my elephant doesn't have a tail. Whoopsie. There we go. There we go. He needed a tail, right? There we go. There's his tail. Nice. All right. There you go. That's a simple Indian inspired elephant. So I hope you have fun with this quick little drawing exercise and I want to see pictures of your Indian elephant. Bye guys!